Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine, I'm blonde the air. I make videos about affordable luxury travel and also affordable luxury in the home. Today, I'm in Sarasota, Florida, part of my two week Florida trip where I'm going to five different cities. So this is city number three and be sure to watch the videos before this one and after to see all the different things because this is one continuous road trip and uh yeah so i'm so excited to show you what you could be doing in sarasota for three nights When I was planning my trip to Florida, I was looking at all the different options and places to stay. And in Sarasota, for this particular weekend, the prices for the hotels were so, so expensive that even hotels that shouldn't cost over $200 or even $150 for that matter did cost that price. And I had to look at Airbnbs and Verbos. Um, I found this Verbo one bedroom apartment and I had no idea that the outside would look like this um, there were no pictures of that but the inside looked kind of cute from the pictures and I have to say that the biggest appeal of the inside was the bed frame that whole cube thing was really cool um, that really gave the design element uh, but uh, yeah it was really difficult to find an affordable luxury spot I was just happy I got this place at the price I got it which was basically a steal compared to everybody else uh, the only downfall is that this Verbo was located so much further away than I really wanted to be. I wish I could be in downtown Sarasota or Siesta Key, um, but I couldn't. And this was uh, the only option I had. I thought that by going to the park, it would be the easiest way to warm up to Sarasota. I really like the water and that is the best selling feature of visiting Sarasota, the water and the beaches. So I thought, all right, Bayfront, here we go. There's restaurants on the Bayfront. There's also different sculptures. And pathways. If you wanna take yourself on a nature tour, it's kind of telling you different things on the shoreline walk along um, swings so many different things that you can be doing here at the Bayfront Park I highly recommend coming here in the daytime and just enjoying the beautiful view and fresh air I could have went to a restaurant right in Bayfront Park but it was very very casual and the food um, is not great for vegetarians so I went to the Blue Sunshine Patio Bar and Grill. This is at uh, like Marina right next to Bayfront Park. Uh, there was live music which was really nice. Seating is very hard to get, first come first serve. I don't know if there's any reservations or not, but I just walked in and I scouted out a table that looked like they were about to leave and basically just ran for it. Like, they're soft, but also crunchy. It's good. This is like a real burger. This is impossible. day one activity is just exploring the downtown so while i was exploring i got to see different art sculptures in the roundabout i've seen a beautiful lights around the trees usually situated near restaurants the parks here are just so beautiful and there are fountains and swings of course you're also gonna find other kinds of art um, like the bicycles that are all tricked out with flowers and painted and stuff like that
The rooftop bar at Artovation Hotel has been highly, highly recommended to me by many, many people. People who live in Florida, people who don't live in Florida. Art Ovation is the spot and I had to go. I really like the view that you get. That's important. That's like the number one reason I went. recommended by the bar back <laughs> at this bar. My white sangria. I'm really excited to eat some sweets. If you're coming to Sarasota, you gotta have a beach day, but before you go to the beach, definitely visit Siesta Key Village. This is where you can eat at restaurants and shop at stores and do different activities and then walk over to the beach. So this is really nice. I love the vibe. Really excited to eat it. Very hungry, stomach is grumbling. <laughs> the waitress recommended that we get the sticky bun because it is so delicious and it's made in house here. So yeah, I'm so excited to try it. It looks very sugary, but like worth it. It really makes me happy when cities have little trolleys or buses that take you around to different locations and for free. This is the best thing ever. So the Siesta Key trolley will take you around the Siesta Key village and down to the beach. Super nice, super helpful, especially because finding parking right at the beach is extremely difficult. So you're going to have to park your car. Um, in the village and then either walk or take the trolley to the beach. My biggest reason to go to Sarasota was for the beach. If you don't know, they're known for their clear waters and white sand beaches. In here we actually have bottles and cans that we're recycling to save the turtles. The white sand is basically like powder. The sand of Siesta Key Beach is made up of 99% quartz, most of which comes from the Appalachian Mountains. The only thing was there were so many people when I went. This was in April 2021, um, but either way, I love the water, the sand, and the beach sunset. So I'm in St. Armand's Circle um, and there's a park in the middle and there's stores and restaurants all around. It's really cool. Um, you can find parking here. We found fairly easily. And yeah, we're gonna have dinner. It's looking really nice, like really nice night out. Again, for the second time today. Here we are, we're gonna try it out. Hopefully it's good. This nacho is really good. I don't usually eat food at museums. That's not a thing I do, but there was no restaurants in the area of the museum and there was no restaurants where I was renting the apartment. So this was my only option. I did no research to see if I would like the menu. I don't even know how it would look like inside. I just knew they had a restaurant and thankfully it turned out well. It's so beautiful, high ceiling. Vegetable lasagna. 
over here we have a side salad. It's so funny that my salad is bigger than my entree, but looks good. So we're about to try the vegetable lasagna. Sauce is good, cheese is good. Every bite, feel like a new vegetable. <laughs> If you enjoyed circuses as a kid, or enjoy looking at beautiful homes and gardens, or even if you really love museums, art museums in particular, then this is the place for you. So this property is pretty huge. There's a lot to see. There's different buildings. Um, and basically I spend most of my time here and very little time here, but there is so much to do. You should definitely plan out to come here when it opens and leave when it closes. Um, make room for that. You could see a display of a miniature example of what a circus looks like um, in real life and how elaborate it is. It's really beautiful, a nice sight. Um, there's also displays where you can learn about how um, the circus is being run and different costumes that they wore and really anything you'd like to know about the circus it's pretty much answered here as well as life-sized displays of the train cars that were used and other really big things. If circuses are not your thing and you want to come here to appreciate the beauty of the grounds, then look no further. You could be visiting Maple Ringlings Rose Garden. That's really peaceful. It's really nice to have a walk here in your thoughts and then sit in the middle. I also recommend going to Katazar. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful home that was uh, designed uh, specifically for uh, the Ringling family um, and it's very elaborate. They have their own audio tour that you can listen to and learn about each of the rooms. Of course, when you step outside, you're going to see the ocean and you're going to see the enormous terrace where the family used to have parties at. If you really just want to come here for an art museum, then you have so much to see. This is a beautiful art museum. This museum has not only modern art, but also art from centuries ago. In the middle of the art museum is once again a beautiful, beautiful garden. Um, there's no shortage of beautiful sights when you come visit. Day four, I took a bus from Sarasota to Fort Myers, and I'm currently in my Airbnb um, in Fort Myers. So yeah, if you want to follow me along the journey, definitely subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, uh, then please give me a thumbs up. And you've done all of the above, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you in my next adventure.